Aquarius. <clears throat> we are going to get a message from Spirit. I've been trying to record this reading for the past 24 hours, and I keep getting um, interrupted by various things. So I wanted to do it when I have time, <clears throat> and I'm not rushing. The only thing is now my voice is gone, so I'm going to try to use this few words as possible um, and still get the message across. Okay, so <clears throat> we are reading for fixed air for January 20, 21, 22, 23. These are birth dates. January 24, 25, January 26, 27, January 28, 29, 30, 31, <clears throat> February 1, February 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <clears throat> 8, February 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, because remember that Pisces season begins on February 19. So as I said, we're going to get a message from Spirit, all right? We'll probably use um, the Rider Waite deck to back up. We've got two Rider Waites, um, and the Tarot de Marseille for extra backup, okay? Now, whenever that happens, I always take the card, oh, wow. Um, so whenever I pick up a deck, and I, you know, I meant to pick the whole deck up, but one card is left there. We always look at it. Ace of Pentacles. Remember the way the hand offers the pentacle in the Ace of Pentacles. By the way, I'm sorry, my, uh, I've got band-aids all over my hands because the cards are cutting them. Remember how at the Ace of Swords, you know, there's that aggressive hand gripping it. Ace of Wands, the, the, you know, lusty hand gripping it. Ace of Cups, the cup is simply presented. But the Ace of Pentacles, there's a beautiful way that, you know, the hand sort of, it, it's, a very, it's a beautiful energy and gesture. It is the sun that shines on the Garden of Eden. So it's also something material. It's, it's, it's when things... Oh, guys, Aquarius, this look at the next. I did not fix this. I pro I absolutely swear. Uh, so that, of course, could be a proposal followed up by the Ace of Pentacles on its own. Uh, probably just a, um, you know, a request for a, an invitation on a romantic date, if it were minus the Pentacle there. Either way, it looks great, all right? That was just a little, you know... Prologue. Now, so we are going to. Did I just? We are. Well, there's uh, the sun here and the split that I just caused by uh, taking the cards apart. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll ask. Since for the past week and a half, we've also been getting messages from your ancestors and spirit guides. We will ask for. Whatever message we're able to receive for Aquarius from spirit or other or their ancestors or other spirit guides that they do and they're not wow well, I think we're gonna get oh dear oh dear oh dear uh, actually this is not bad I don't do reversal so when this happens we have to really look at it. So I do believe that this message is uh, from an ancestor or from your ancestors simply because we have a card where there are several, there are at least three generations aspected in this card. We have a, um, a grandfather and we have, a, um, you know, that one of these is, is issue from the grandfather. And then we also have a child there, okay? So three generations. Now that's interesting, Aquarius, because 
Um, I don't know if you missed this. Well, we, we were discussing this on a live. There weren't many people there, so you probably did miss it. Um, on our last discussion in the past few days, we were talking about um, people were discussing, you know, that they get these dreams or hear sounds or um, they think things are signs. Um, and what's interesting is the um, what they call the high honor um, uh, ancestors. Um, ancestors of great ranking, um, the ancestors that have a lot of spiritual power um, because they have been around for so long. You know, in three generations, a, a soul could manage to do all the work in the chart. In other words, all the spiritual, personal work um, that, uh, that can be done. Um, now, three generations here. So what we were talking about was how many generations would it take to go to heaven um, and then you know there's a, there's a but by the way there's a there's a, there's a double heaven uh, heaven right, right in the realm of heaven um, which is at utopia completely absolutely um, you know total um, you know heaven but except it's even better than heaven it's called Marhaluk um, and 0.1% of people who die will go there. But the people who do go there um, have managed to shed all the negative aspects of the world. Um, and these are called attachments. In many um, uh, Eastern texts, in many spiritual texts, um, the... Uh, um, the things that are negative about this world and about society, you know, and uh, for example, if people think that they're, they're, they're only good, they're only good for someone if they have money or good looks, those are called attachments um, of the material world. Um, and the idea when you, and they cause misery and, and they cause hardship and pain and suffering. And that is why the whole idea um, of, of spiritual work is to bring you into a place of peace where you do not experience misery, suffering, anxiety, jealousy, worry that your boyfriend is cheating on someone else, worry that he found someone better looking. All of these are devil energy, all of those feelings. Um, and it's amazing when you start doing the spiritual work, what happens to your life, your psyche, and when you're confident um, and uh, you and you know yourself, and you and you're comfortable in your own skin. What you'll find is the the the, the man or the guy or the girl that you thought would be more attracted to a better looking person or a richer person is attracted to you. Okay, because um, that is your real self. So I believe that what's going on here is somebody in this card so these people would be in the realm of the unmanifest these are your your ancestors so um they are well we'll call them spiritual ancestors which means that they have they're they're not in these 3d they have passed on um to heaven or what else we or uh, marholic now um so over here there is no doubt that if this person has passed they are in hell they're in hell why look at the energy look at how they're feeling not just anxiety this would be anxiety but a state of extreme anxiety sometimes when you reverse a card um it, it the, the simple thing that it does is intensifies the card's meaning and others it doesn't but when I saw this split, it was just very loud and clear. That's, you know, focus on that. Um, so one of your, there's a reason for this, which we'll find out in a minute. I don't know what it is, but I think I, think I know what's coming up. I, I would say it's this person here who, who is, who is, who is it, this, the state that you're, I believe that this is you, okay? Well, it could be somebody else, but this ancestor, 
uh, has become triggered. His attention has has become focused on this descendant. All right, these people have never met. You know, in the in the in the three D in the physical world, because of course this person was long passed away before this person was even born. But but when the when you begin to operate and exist in other realms, um, it, your abilities are, you know, are quadrupled. It, 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 they're multiplied, infinitely multiplied. And so everyone says, oh, well, can they see us? Can they hear us? Well, in a way, yes, um, but not the way that we do, okay? Now, the, this person has concern for this person. Um, Sometimes when some, somebody does something really horrible to us, um, or several people do something really horrible to us, especially if it's underhanded, and so and it, and it it is done in a way that this person cannot help themselves. They can't. For example, if this person were being stalked um, by a group of men who had high power, you know, maybe one is the chief of police, you know, the other, um, you know, might be on the board of a really important bank, um, there might be a politician, there might be a, you know, a senator, or, um, but it, 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 you get the idea, one of them, it, some of them may be very, very wealthy, some of them may own bars and business, maybe they're involved in the, uh, you know, the uh, black market, um, but the problem is they're corrupt. So when they bother this person, and this person might have done something as innocent as fallen in love with a woman who, um, who, a, who a gangster bar owner who hangs around with politicians and uh, is, was in love with, and maybe that woman walked away from the bar owner and this person didn't even know. Um, so that's, this is how gang stalking begins. People always wonder, well, how did you must have done something wrong to get in that position? No, actually, it's it's usually the opposite. Okay. So the harassment begins. It usually lasts somewhere between three to six years. Um, you will find yourself in a state of, of ruin at at the end of it. No home, no car, no no money. Your business will be torn down. Reputation tortured. But, but just imagine all the spiritual work that you could do because, of course, no home, no car. That is the, one of the lessons you must learn to um, not be attached to material things. Um, uh, your reputation torn down. Uh, another um, spiritual task in one of the houses is to uh, be independent of the good opinion of others. However, Let's not be a Pollyanna. This person um, has been tortured mentally as well. The problem is it's very hard to get help when you go through that because no one believes you. And the reason why is gang stalking is done in a very, very sophisticated, stealthy way. Cunning, shrewd, under the, underhanded, concealed deceptive but cruel um, so they can't go to the police either because the police might be part of it you know so they, they're screwed and normally what happens is you you go the, what I find interesting is that there are some people who do not do not do well with it well you know it's gonna do well it's not shouldn't be anything that anyone has to go through um, but those who start uh, acting out the way that the gang stalkers are treating them, what you'll see them is you'll, you'll they'll have about twelve uh, court uh, lawsuits on the go, and they won't let them go, and uh, they're it's it's really horrible to see. The way that you should deal with it is, you 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 hold on like you're on the roller coaster, and you do everything you can to maintain your your survival. You don't lash out. Um, and you certainly don't fight back because you won't be able to do it. it, it it's just not possible. You'll destroy yourself. 
and you may end up dying, literally. So I don't know what has, has happened to this person, but um, I feel like it's something like that because your ancestors do not, their ire will not be raised unless it's something very, very serious. This is very serious. All right. So <clears throat> the, you may have heard tarot card readers say things like, um, oh, spiritual war for some of um, You know what? It actually does happen. Okay? It actually does happen. And what happens is, I'll give you an example. Um, so what, one, of the, one of the most drastic um, ways that ancestors can become involved is called intervention. And what happens is they start watching, 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 watching their descendant. How, I don't know because I don't understand the unmanifest. One day we will, but, you know, right now, suffice it to say, we'll trust the physicists um, that it does exist. It's called the quantum field, all right? That's where, that's where they go. That's where we, that's where our souls go, our energy goes um, after the body perishes. The, uh, the quantum field. But these souls, these energies, um, can, can watch their, they watch their descendant souls. And when this kind of thing happens, if it's very, a very serious case, they actually get angry and they can intervene. How do they intervene in many ways? But the most extreme way is that they can take their, uh, their soul, their energy, and actually propel it into the um, into the world into the 3D, which is the this is not the quantum field. This is the field of wavy, um, uh, finite energy where energy takes up space. This rock and this rock cannot can, cannot take up the same space. So in that, in other words, it's it, energy is finite here. It's not in the other realm, but but the, that that is something that happens. Anyway, um, that's how if you, you know, plant a, an orange seed and grow a giant orange tree, um, we know that in the 3D, energy must take up space, and there is only a finite amount of space. So we know that that tree is only a little tiny speck, speck of seed. So where did it come from? The giant orange tree. You, think you can fold all that up, you know, that old pen pack thing. No. It comes from the unmanifest, and that's what happens when these souls decide to go in. How do they go in? Do they go into humans? I don't think so. I think they go into animals. They go into animals. Now, I, if, if they do come into a human form, I don't think that they can actually fully come in as a human being. That, that, the only way that that can happen is when a baby is born, and that takes a really long time. But they can appear... Um, that it's called a ghost. And um, I have a 2021 study that was completed by nine physicists that, that, that um, measured and monitored the energy around a person who, had, who was deceased, a body, a dead body. And guess what? It, uh, this um, particle accelerator picks up the soul after the body has deceased. So that energy, a, the energy from a human being, after the body is dead, does not need a live body. And in the study itself, it says, therefore, ghosts do exist. So <clears throat> now, they then, they don't, it doesn't, you, the soul does not hang around for very long in this realm, unless, and we're getting complicated now, that there are some, uh, uh, some dark energy that can remain in this, in this realm, the nether um, region and uh, you know that's usually when when you have uh, um, a sort of an angry ghost that won't leave the house you know but anyway I digress we're going to get another split see what's going on my guess is that this man is going to be triggered here and uh, perhaps that this man may have brothers you know who are also in that realm that may be triggered you've never met you've if that's you um, this, this is either you or your person. You've never met, of course, this person who is going to intervene um, because they are three generations older than you. Okay. Oops. 
Okay, what else do we have, please? What happens then? Spirit, thank you so much. He's clear split. Wow, okay. I, I get positive for a second. This would make a good children's book, a story you're going to hear, by the way. Mine, I, we could, you know, edit with the gang's talking thing. Um, do you remember when I told you that I believe that, um, that they, if, when they do come in to physically intervene, they use animals, mainly dogs? Do you see what's happening here? Something is coming from the, unma from the unmanifest into the manifest. All right? And I let, let me show you what it is. There's a dog here. Light. Now, what's happening here, though, um, what's going to happen is the soul of this man, okay, will come into a dog that is in, already in our physical world, all right? So it, uh, it may come into your dog, or it, we don't know, but there's something that that dog, that a dog um, around either you or your person is able to do. Um, to change the whole course of events. I don't know what. Um, you've heard of the uh, the, the, the uh, phrase, all dogs go to heaven. Yes, they do. And they also come back down <laughs> occasionally. All right, let's, let's keep going. That was quite amazing there. I'm just going to, every now and then, this split will, we'll, oh, okay, we're going to look at this one. Ah, okay, this is interesting. So this, I'll tell you what this is. This is so um, 100% um, a, a, a spiritual ancestor intervention um, reading, and I'll tell you why. So I've done about eight of them so far. I only started, they, this only started coming in to my tarot readings about two weeks ago. Um, so there must be some pretty, pretty horrible things going on right now around us um, for this to be necessary. But you're going to find this very cute. Normally, and the reason why I know this is because I know which cards come out for the, for the interventions. So when your um, ancestors have been, you know, when their ire has been raised, when, they, when they've been looking and going, uh-oh, oh, it's not, we don't like that. What happens is, um, so you'll usually see the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Three of Pence, the Ten of Cups. But right here, what's happening is there's a little scrum going on. This is actually in heaven about which ancestor will, will come down. And what you'll see generally is the kings. They'll, there's going to be one of the kings that always comes down is the king of wands. Um, and by the way, he doesn't come down as in his physical form. His, his soul will propel into a dog or an animal. And he's angry. You know? So right here, the, the, it, there's a discussion going on Sorry, about the, uh, what's happening um, and my understanding, by the way, so the spirit, God, Allah, Buddha, um, is not involved in this, but they do, you know, they have a, they do have a say here. They're not, they're actually, they don't override anything of the, of the ancestors. You know why? Because the spiritual ancestors that do the interventions, in, they inhabit um, the area of heaven that only 0.1% of souls can go to. You don't have to, do, all you have to do to be eligible to go there, and you will go there, will go there if you have the work done, you have to shed at a minimum 60% of your earthly attachment. So the kind of person that, that can go to uh, Mark Hallock is not going to get scared if they lose their job. They're not going to be afraid to choose the person they love. They're not going to be afraid if they find out they have cancer. They're going to be, they're going to use meditation and spirit. They're not afraid when they have to go into battle if they're a soldier. They're not afraid when a woman starts coming around their man who's more attractive. They're not afraid of, of things, of losing things. In fact, what they do is when they face those types of things, they stay in the present moment and they watch it like a movie they observe all around them that is a spiritual master so the, these people are talking here all right 
Yeah, and something, I guess, sorry, I guess about this. There's something very unfair going on here. Very unfair. They're discussing what's going on in the in the um, earthly realm. I just discovered something. I'm not sure. Um, I'm slightly concerned that there could be um, great. This is going to complicate things. Uh, there, yeah. One of the problematic things. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I mean, this may be. I will pull some more cards and find out. Oh, spirit could just be talking about fear. not having money I'll just I'll keep going but just just in case you wanted to know where I was going with this just then there's a possibility but it's, it's very small that this could be a situation <laughs> to complicate everything where there is um what they call a generational curse it's not really a curse what it is is when um when the ancestors have um are going to war with each other they have they have an issue with with the descendants they've been, well they have an issue with something that happened within the family and what they can do let's say um they're the one one of your ancestors let's say your father felt that he was cheated out of uh, money by by his father when his father died because his father gave more money to to uh, the brothers so that person when they pass on may have a beef with the children and all the descendants of the of the brother who got all the money. This really is really starting to taste bad here. So hopefully all that there all that's happening here is this is the discussion um, in Marhalak about what they're gonna do to help that person. Oh no, I know what this is. I think Spirit just wants you to know what the issue is, what the wrong was, what the dire thing uh, you know, on earth is going on. So what they're discussing the issue what, of what has happened to this person. Um, it's something like this. Up here, this um, is some kind of an expert who gave an opinion, all right? Or gave, or gave an approval Actually, that could be a will. I can't believe that. I, I actually, I'm not sure what that is. It could be a death certificate. Yes, it is. 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 It's either on cause of death. It is. Oh, my God. I know what this is. Let's just keep going. Thank you, Spirit. I know what this is. There has been an atrocity, an, an atrocity. That person is dead. The person in the nine of swords in the beginning, that, that person is not alive. So they're not going down <laughs> to protect someone. They may be going down for justice. I don't know. Now, I could be wrong. Let's just keep going. That person, that person, That person is dead. They, now, you may be saying, well, why can't they talk to the ancestors? Because there are two heavens. They, and by the way, 85% um, of us do not go to heaven, nor do we go to hell. Where do we go? The nether region right here. It's not heaven, it's neutral. We do. We come back about over and over and over and over. That's why people say, there's no heaven when you, when you pass away. And I say, yep, you're damn too... What? You're supposed to be so spiritual. Yep, damn to For 85% of the time, we do not go to heaven. Where do we go? Yeah, it, that's where the, the past lives come into play. Past lives come into play. You don't get to go to heaven unless you do the work. If you're a mean, nasty person, 
you're cheap, if you know, don't, you, you're, you're not nice, if you hate your family or you're jealous of your sisters or you put down your, you know, your siblings, you know, try to squash them. You know, if you're mean to your coworkers, you know, engage in betrayal. It's just because you didn't do anything, you didn't, didn't breach any of the Ten Commandments, doesn't mean you're going to heaven. You don't go to heaven unless you do the work, all right? You don't don't go to hell if you don't, but you you literally um, you will not experience a, a utopia unless you get, you get rid of the um, of the earthly attachments. Now, what I believe has happened here is that there has been some kind of deception over this person's death. Something bad has happened. I'll tell you why. There's the card of deception. Over here is the person who is, 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 is he, this is a guilty party, a guilty party. There could have been others. That is because some, that death somehow for this person was related to money now, I, or reputation. Okay? So this person is a person. The reason why this card came out is, is because now I can tell you what kind of a person this is. This person, you, everyone thinks that this person is a good person, generous. Oh, he donates every year, donates. He's so generous, he gives away all this money. He's probably very generous to some. But there's something very, very wrong going on back here. This could be a, a sibling, you know, maybe with, a, with some, just look very closely at that. That is someone who's being picked on or, or someone who's being cheated out of something. This person doesn't need, need that. This person needs it. Scales are unbalanced. But yet this, you know, the idea of this card, I'm not going to go into the history of it because they don't have the, this deck is not, uh, it doesn't have the proper, um, they, they've slightly moved the pen. There's supposed to be a pentacle over his head, not two. And th there's, over here, it's supposed to show the inequity of it all. He is pretending to be a donor, pretending to be generous. Um, but he's not, because he, what's going to happen here is something that he's doing. There, he's going to make money off this giving. There's going to be a kickback for him somehow. It's kind of like when when companies ask you to donate. Would you like to donate to, uh, you know, the ladies' knitting club or blah, blah, blah. Or, or they'll really make you want to say yes by, would you like to donate to the, um, you know, uh, uh, Missing Limb Foundation for children? You know, it's just, you got to hand the money over. You know what they do with that? They take it and they donate it to the Missing Children's Limb Fund. And then they report to, uh, to IRS or to Revenue Canada, whatever. They report it that they donated it because they did. And then they get a huge tax break. So that's that's essentially the energy here. Except I, there's something even worse about this. This person back here is suffering somehow. Um, and I think that this person is part of it. This person may be related or may have a personal... They may be... They, you know, this is someone that this person is supposed to trust... Like, this person may look slightly disabled, you know? Maybe that's a, a brother or a sister or a father. But th but this person has control somehow over that person. And it's kind of like um, the uh, Rain Man, you know, when uh, the girlfriend of Tom Cruise got really angry with him because she didn't like the way that, <laughs> that Tom Cruise had spiffed up Rain Man. <laughs> And brought him down in the casino was making money off him. And Rain Man didn't really want the money. He was just really good, you know, at numbers and things. She, she, you know, yes, there is something bad about that. But the thing was, Tom Cruise loved the Rain Man too and want, wanted him to live with him and all that stuff. So, but, but the point is, this person is suffering somehow. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, so what happened? Two. What else do we need to know? One. Okay. Oh, geez. 
just before I go on, just, um, just look very closely. Don't be freaked out by this. Look very closely at the, um, just keep your eyes very still at the devil um, card. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the, the moving of the hand up and down the... Don't be scared if you see it. it the devil is literally dancing as I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to pause the tape now and tell you what I think this is. What we have here is this person is donating money to this person. He's paying him money to do something. We don't know that yet. And we have this person is the devil reversed, and I'll tell you what that means. First of all, you know that it, with hell, um, it isn't a physical place. All right, so hell is actually, it, it, it is experienced here on, in the nether region on earth. That's why you may be dealing with the devil. For, for You may be dealing with someone who's in devil energy, who's in hell uh, right now. Somebody is over here. But this person isn't, it, it, there are two levels of, of, of being called hell. And one is, uh, spirit considers it, you to be at somewhere between a minus 10 to minus 20 in terms of spiritual strength when you're in hell. 10% of us, by the way, will, will go, not go to hell, but we'll stay. If that's where we are yeah, um, when we pass, we'll either stay there or we'll go. Well, actually, let me just not make that prediction, but that's where you could go. But there is a level. So let's just say that the devil upright is hell at a minus 20, minus 10 to minus 20 in terms of spiritual power you'll have if you're in that energy. In other words, if all you care about is money, you know, and, and reputation, and, and you don't care about how people feel, you don't give, you don't, you think it's funny uh, if you trick a dog, and, and it, uh, I remember once watching these guys when I was at a dive site, the dog was very thirsty, one of the guys, a dog that was really thirsty, and, and he t gave him a bowl of salt water. And when the dog spit it out, everybody laughed. And I remember thinking, I, I, can't, I cannot be around these people anymore. That's devil. That, these are really uh, low vibrational people who have no empathy, no, no, no ability. Um, to. It's, they're lacking. They're not human. There's part of them that's not human. Now imagine if you invert that, intensify that. This is called... The thir third and fourth region of hell. This is the fourth region of hell. This is, uh, it's, it's called, this is, this is what spirit calls this. The region of uh, uh, others, uh, of people who, uh, the region of trouble to others. I, I can't remember how it's viewed, but people here, and, and I believe that that's this person here. And I think that whoever he's giving money to, whatever this, what it, something is about to happen. Maybe. I don't think it's going to happen because you're, some, someone is going to intervene on the divine masculine or feminine's behalf here. Um, but the, whatever person is orchestrating all this is, bring, is just all that person is is trouble to others. That's what he likes to do. And um, your level of, of spiritual strength when you're residing in this energy is minus 30 and lower. It's, that's what's very difficult to ascend when you're here. Um, it's di you know, that's why I always hear divine men say, I can't do this anymore. I'm getting out. And I'm, I'm like, good. <laughs> because that is this is almost impossible, getting this person. Now, there's something there that's, ah, now I'll show you what's happening now. Here's one of the kings. Remember I said the king of swords. Um, is, this is one of your ancestors. And this person has had it. Has absolute something has. That when, when, the, when the last straw, something is, is the straw, breaks the camel's back, they get angry. So you'll see now what's about to happen. Jeez. Anyway, I better put it back the way it was. This is exciting, of course. Okay, let's keep going. 
I'll just give you an example of what this could be, though. Um, this could be someone who looks upstanding in the community, but he's been his girlfriend has broken up with him, and he can't take it. He can't. He doesn't want to live without her, but he doesn't want her. He doesn't want to live knowing that she gets to have someone else. So he's paying this person to murder her, and and people may never find out. Maybe maybe she had a problem with uh, depression or drugs or something, and what he's going to do is he's going to tell this guy to make it look like a suicide. It's it's it is fourth region of hell. It devil. It's horrible what this energy is. Yeah, you know it's really really shocking, and it's easy to fall in love with someone like this because they are really good at coming across as a good guy. So you need really, really, really easy to, uh, to, get, to get hooked on someone like this. But I'm telling you right now, this person has no heart. Or they have a heart, but they, it's gonna be a, really take a huge amount to get this person to start ascending. They haven't even started. They haven't even started. They're not even interested in it. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry guys. All right, show me more of these spirit and Aquarius's <clears throat> spirit ancestors, please. Show us more, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay, okay. Wow, 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 wow. It is something like that. It is something like that. It is, I mean, this may be that. Um, but, I, you know, what I just described... I do feel like it's that. So someone is putting work in. They look at how they look, devoted to their work. Very, you know, that this person is probably really good at something. Maybe this is an accountant or a lawyer or, uh, you know, an, a, a, a stockbroker. This person does one thing that they're really good at. Maybe they're a mechanic. They, they are really good at something. All right. They may, uh, they may make pianos or may instru musical instruments, mechanics. They do something with their hands that they're extremely good at. They could um, carve, a, they could be a sculpt. They, I'm just seeing that this person, it's a, they, they do something. They could build houses. They could build uh, subdivisions or something. They could do uh, stairways, um, molding. They're an expert. This is, this is, this person, I think, is highly regarded in the community. But let me tell you what he's also doing. In, in the back of his mind, this person always concentrates on their work. At, during, the, during the daytime, they're 8 to 3 or 8 to 5. They're 100% focused on their work. All right? But what he's thinking about in the back of his mind is getting rid of the girlfriend or getting rid. Of the, he, this, he wants that person gone. And, and it's be, it's probably because she, if it's a girlfriend situation, she had to, you know, break up with him or something. She um, had to leave and, and that person didn't know how to deal with it. I'm just going to look at what's coming out under here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this this could be the person um, that, you know, this could be a, a, what do you call them, a hitman or this could, this could be... There could be an abuse of authority involved in this. See, that could, this could be, a, you know, I don't even want to say. I'll probably get arrested myself, but you get the idea. There's a lot There's a lot being covered up here. It's very unfair what's happening. Let's keep going. Yeah. Oh, it is an abuse of process. It's an abuse. Of, the Herefant upright is, you know, it could be a... Um, a bishop, or it could be um, the a pastor, or a priest, a pope. It could be the, the um, principal of the school, or the head of the hospital board, treasurer. But what this person is really like, it's corruption like you wouldn't believe. There's, there's, there is a, this is the five of pentacles. I think there are five main corrupt people involved in this. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Show me more, please. Yeah. Talk about corrupt. Talk about corrupt. Talk about corrupt. Whoa. 
both of these cards um, are cards of wielding power. Th and that's a card of ego. This card is heavy duty wielding power. You know, that, that devil again. Devil energy is behind all of this. It, and it's not just hell. It's not um, the, the third region of hell. It's the fourth region. Third region, fourth, fourth region. Where all, the, all these people are capable is causing other people trouble. That's all. That's all. Now let me tell you what's happening here. This is a wielding of power. Um, there's a decision being made here, but it's a ruthless decision. It's ruthless. So it's it's like. I'm going to give you an example, and I think I've said this before. Actually, I just decided, thought of another example that might explain it better. Um, I don't know if any of you saw the movie Crimes and Misdemeanors, um, but the, it, there is a man um, who is the head of the family, very wealthy family, very orthodox Jew, um, very, very focused on what other people thought, and um, oh, we had the wife and the daughters, very, you know, very traditional family, wealthy, good reputations. And of course, the, um, the head of the family, uh, the father, he is uh, traveling on a plane somewhere and he, and he sparks up a relationship with a flight attendant and it's very romantic. And she is a very good person. She just lives in this small apartment. She's a, you know, very beautiful soul. Um, but she's got the, her weak spot is that she's a little on the needy side. She, you know, had a broke, came from a broken home, and so of course, and she convinces herself that that he might break up with his wife and marry her, which is completely ridiculous because it, it she what she didn't understand was that when he broke up with her, it had nothing to do with her. It had everything. He actually was very much in love with her, but what she needed was a friend. You know, she needed a friend, and she had no one. And uh, and um, so what she ended up doing was she lost it. When he broke up with her, she spun out of control and uh, wrote a threatening letter um, to the man's uh, wife, which he was able to inter intervene. But this man, who had, um, you know, who was known for his integrity as, as a father, his integrity, uh, as as a as you know as a, as an Orthodox Jew, his integrity, uh, you know, with everything he did, people would come to him for advice. That man made a decision to order that woman to be murdered. Why? Because he didn't want to lose his family, mostly because of reputation. Though he didn't want to lose money. He didn't want to lose his position. On, on this board and that board. He didn't want to lose respect, but mainly he didn't want to lose reputation. That's all fear, devil, energy. And then when he made the decision, and what happened was he, he had a, a younger brother that was, a little, that was a little on the mafioso side. And what's funny is he, ne he always looked down on the brother was, and didn't really didn't want to, did, was uncomfortable when the brother would come around for family functions. But when he started going through this, he confided one day in the younger brother, they were at a family function and he had a little too much liquor in him. And the younger brother said, I can take care of it. I can take care of that in two seconds. You won't even need. And of course, it, 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 you know, when, when that happens, you know, uh, he said, no, no, don't you dare to. But then a few days later, when the situation is out of control and the stewardess is, is literally calling his home nonstop and the daughters and, and his wife are get, beginning to get concerned, but they're not, they're not much bothered with it. But something outrageous, outrageous was about to happen. And he gave in to the devil's temptation. And, uh, and he phoned the brother and of course, the brother is 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 in hell. Is operating in devil energy. He was waiting for that call. He didn't even he didn't even really do it for the money. He's the devil, 
And he said, of course. Uh, you know, give me your address again, and, and uh, you'll be taken care of, and da-da-da. And the man then walked around like he was frozen, and, and, went, and it went just as planned. This was a hit man. He knew what he was doing. That is a ruthless, ruthless decision. And it's based on, in, in this situation here, it, that might that man might might his girlfriend might have broken up with him. It may be a situation more like what I just explained to you. But I feel in this situation, it may be a sort of a younger man, all right? And there's a number of things that he doesn't want to have happen. Number one, he doesn't he doesn't like the fact that the woman kicked him to the curb. He maybe he was taking advantage of her and he thought that that would continue. Maybe he had been, you know, manipulating her for a long period of time. Maybe he was telling her that he didn't have a wife or didn't have a girlfriend. Maybe she found out about it and was courageous enough to, to exit the connection. So, but, but in this case, it's not just that. There's something else here. The reason why this person wants to have somebody murdered is because something is going to come out in the open. She Either she knows something. That if it's exposed, this is part of public exposure. Um, it, it's gonna, it's gonna ruin whatever reputation he has, or ruin, it ruins somebody's opinion of him, and he doesn't like it. I or it's, it has to do with some sort of victory that he can't get if she exposes this, or if someone finds out. Now, I don't think in that scenario. I think this person is already murdered, but. I don't think that she had any intentions of exposing anything. I think this person's ego is triggered. That's all, you know. So this this is ego intensified. It's also something. Here, something is being exposed. Here, it, the public will never know, and that's why this person has hired that devil refers the the uh, fourth region of hell devil, fourth region of hell person to, to, uh, to, to, to murder somebody. And, and perhaps it's even more ruthless because he's even, um, he's, perhaps he's been marring her reputation all along and she didn't know maybe she's lost, this reputation lost. And to boot, what he's going to do to make sure that he doesn't get investigated is because he's going to get somebody else to do it. And he's going to have it so maybe he'll take her out for dinner first and, and drop her home. And then he knows that someone else yeah, will, will be paid to go into the home and murder her. So it looks like he's, he's, you know, treating her well. The friends are going to say, oh, they got along really well, you know, and, um, and this helps him. But it's even, what's even worse about it is he's probably done something like, he's probably told these people, um, you know, he's, he's done it's something like make it look like she killed herself and um, put some drugs around her, something like there's something about her that she had some kind of um, a vulnerability, some something that was that was she had some weakness about her that he's going to now take advantage of even more for his own selfish purposes. That's it's a ruthless decision. Let's keep going. I didn't realize this reading was so long. I'll, I, I'll know when it's over with, okay? Okay, I gotta think about this. This is really important, whatever's being said here. Just give me a moment. Okay, I think I know what this is. This now is a decision that's being made. Ah, there's your ancestors. For those of you who are on the live, um, uh, I, sh I really should have put this in at the beginning of the video because I wanted you to be able to see it if you saw it. So interestingly enough, the cards that come out for your ancestors, uh, these people are, uh, they are passed away. Now, I oh my goodness, look at that spirits there. So, uh, oh, 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 look at this. So spirits going to send a little message. There's that. So these are your ancestors, okay? Now, what's funny is I believe in the original card. 
I believe it was a stage card. In other words, it's just a dream. Isn't that cute? Uh, in that, you know, just sig signifying to you why um, Spirit puts this card out to show your ancestors. Anyway, oh, you know what I think also is happening? This was the, this is what Spirit had originally intended for the, the, the person who's about to murder her. And um and and that's where the that's where they were supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, that's what he wanted. That's what spirit had planned. So spirit, uh, usually spirit is not involved in these interventions, but I believe that he has one request. He's he. There's a decision here. This is interesting. He's going to get one of the ancestors, or perhaps he's going to make. Make it clear. There's a message that's going to be sent. Yeah. Yeah. And about what the true plan was. There's the plan. The Nine of Cups plan in the future. Yeah. Look at that. The the child, you know, and the, the, the chance they could have had that he screwed it up. He murdered his twin flame. Spirit is going to get a message to this person. Did you, didn't you know? <laughs> Here was the plan for us. That was your wish. That's your nine of cups. That was your future. You know, that was your opportunity. That message is going to that person. Somehow, as part of this whole, whole thing, that that's one thing that's going to be done. Now let's see what else happens. That's interesting. That doesn't usually happen. Usually the kings just come straight out. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. There's also something that is not revealed. Whoa, 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 hang on. There, there were, there were two other people that know about what this masculine was doing. A, a minimum of two other people. I believe what the, that's what those messages were. Where did the messages go? I, I don't want to screw up the cards here. But you saw the, the maybe three. There was the Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, Three of Wands. There may have been, oh, there were other people involved. Someone who watched, someone who messaged. Someone who received a message. So however this played out, however this played out, there those other people had an obligation to come forward, okay? Um, or this person has done this in the past. But anyway, perhaps he was supposed to reveal to her uh, that he had children and perhaps he was married behind this behind the scenes. And already had a family, um, and 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 his obligation was to ah, uh, I think I know what this was. I think that in this case, the man had a family and children. Um, I think, and that's what he was supposed to reveal. That's why he he's killing this woman. Something like that. Anyway, you get the idea. I mean, if it's simply failure to ascend, you know, that's, that's, get this, the, the sun, no, it's failure to reveal. It's failure to reveal. It is failure to reveal. He was supposed to reveal something. It's, it's, it, it, it intensifies, it, you know, this, the, 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 the terrible things that this person has done. Yeah, I think this, I think what's happening here. Is that the man? There's another person that's supposed. To, there's other people involved here. I'm not really, I'm not really sure what's going on here. But let's just keep going so we can figure out. Oh dear. This okay. So we, oh, it's in her family. There's one of these people is in her family. Oh my god. So, and her her this masculine is aware that her. 
Okay. Whoa. So that is, so he may have gone for a long period of time. This, they may have tried this before. Something they, the family may be very toxic toward her. Uh, uh, they will what something that he did know is that the family was stressing her out, all right, or him out. All right, let's go. Let's keep going. Maybe, uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe he was trying to make her look crazy or something. Okay, now we got to figure out what this is. Well, yeah, it could have been depression or something. Maybe at one point he realized that things were wrong. Oh, maybe he was, he's supposed to, um, he's supposed to expose a corrupt police organization, maybe. The Four of Wands could be, there is another organ, so there's a lot, uh, oh boy, is there ever a lot of corruption here. He's, he could be paid by an organization that is supposed to be um, orthodox. It's like, this is, and it's upright. This is government. This is what one ought to do in the reverse. It's an abuse of power. All right, so what happens then, please? Boy, boy. Okay, so there's something trying to come out here. Okay. So I feel like, um, see, I kind of, I know the story in this because I know what happened. This actually happened, by the way. Actually, I, well, the, the person doesn't. Well, let me just let me just continue. And this person um, was unable to leave her home for some reason, or didn't want to leave her home. Um, and I think they were trying to figure out how. In this case, geez, they, were, they were working with others. See, they may have had. There's a lot of people involved here. What happened here um, is the young woman that doesn't like to leave her home. Maybe she, maybe she's a what do you call it, uh, um, agoraphobia or something. She didn't want to leave her home, so it's something like this. They were trying to figure out how to how to knock her off um, and make it look like it wasn't his fault. I don't know what. what why in this case here I'm, I'm just gonna just gonna keep going so somebody here like this is often the card of a restaurant okay so this person um, pays somebody here okay he pays somebody to drive so this is the round trip here he pays somebody to watch These are two people working together on, on this plan. Oh, no. Holy moly. You know what's going on here? This masculine does have, he is committed to another woman. They have an overall plan of taking the hell off after. <gasps> yeah. So all of this is part, this just keeps getting worse. Anyway. Incredible. So he pays someone, all right? He's paying someone here, I feel. Um, and this is a restaurant that they're going to go to. Somebody else is going to do something else back here. Let's just keep going. So in, in the point is he gets her out of her home. So there's nobody in the home. That, and for because of it, and somebody has an opportunity to hit the home. So what happens then, please? Okay, there's three coming out. Oops, sorry, what's under here? Yeah, there's there's something deceptive here. So what happens here is I feel while while they're at the restaurant, there's a round trip. There's some deception. See, this was it. I think I know what the deception is. He asked her out on a romantic date, I think. He made it look like it was a romantic date. And that's, of course, she took it. Of course she did. 
But that's really something's going on. Show me more, please. So he got her. He manipulated her by taking her out on a romantic date. She didn't want to go. She did not want to go. Something about... Swords reversed. He paid somebody. What? Let's just keep going. They may have been hiding, yeah, in the home. So somebody, somebody goes into the home. They're waiting over there. Ten of swords reversed. Somebody is not dead yet. <laughs> Something's not over yet. Show me more. Sorry. Something's not over yet. Something here, I think, I, I think I've been very stupid. This is really easy. This is one of your ancestors, I think, the King of Swords. Um, I, I'm sorry, Nine of Swords reversed. Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords reversed. Give me a moment. I'm just going to test a little theory now about what I think. See, I think this is one of your ancestors because usually the two kings that come out are the king, king for ancestors in doing an intervention are the king of swords and the king of wands and a knight of swords, believe it or not. And I'm wondering if spirit is just trying to say here um, that... Um, this is overthinking, um, which led to this. What? Okay, first of all, who is in the Nine of Swords? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know exactly who's in the Nine of Swords, but I'm trying to find out where the card is reversed. Queen of Wands is in the Nine of Swords. Four of Swords is something that's been concealed. Ooh, and the home is upside down. Something about the home. Something's been concealed. So this is extreme stress and anxiety over something, something that has been concealed and underneath the home, turning the home upside down, about the home. Five of four swords, what hasn't been concealed, or what? Oh, whoa! Okay, so I just think that, um. Okay, so over here was what was supposed to happen. Oh. 
I don't know if somebody snuck into the house. Um, maybe when he went to pick her up. Something hasn't been concealed. Um, what is in the, what is what is concealed? There's something that she can't see. What is concealed? The tower. Well, the tower would be. Um, somebody's plan to go in there and murder her after they drop her off. I suppose that's it. I'm just trying to figure out why the Nine of Swords is reversed. Uh, guilt, I guess. Overwhelming guilt. Now, something unexpected happened, though. And it happened. Did you see the Four of Swords and the Six of Cups? So what happened is this person went to her home picked her up, drove to the restaurant. And then something on it back at the home, something unexpected happened. <laughs> this should be good. So at, at this the home is empty because the woman is at the restaurant with the man. What happened? Sorry. This is very bizarre reading. What happened? Somebody, somebody, oh, I love it, oh my God, oh, oh. a dog, there's the dog, there's the dog, one of the ancestors when, when it came in, and I, I'm going to tell you now, I've, you're going to think I'm crazy when I say, I've seen this happen, that, I mean, not this, but this scenario, but I have seen um, energy entering into a dog. I, I believe I would have been attacked or raped one night if it weren't for a dog going absolutely berserk and, and scared the living hell out of someone that I believe was about to attack me. Um, so I think what happened was whoever went into the home, whatever they went to do, maybe they, I don't know if they intended on planting things or I don't know what they intended on doing, Maybe they didn't want to murder her after. Maybe they, maybe they, I don't know what they did, but clearly they were doing something sneaky by going into her home. But I believe somebody had a dog with them. Or maybe, maybe the dog was there. I'm not really sure what happened. But what I do know is that the tower has to do with one of your ancestors entering into a dog's body. And that dog took down whoever this nasty person was who was supposed to kill the divine feminine or or plant listening devices or something. Yeah, look no, they meant they meant it. Yeah. So some 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 I feel like that's the end. Yeah. Whoa, look that see that that is remember when I said the Knight of Swords? That is your ancestor and it goes boom. Let me just tell you those jaggedy edge clouds that's the moment when the, when the soul of the, your ancestor gets, you know, absorbed, gets it embodies in the dog. And just look at the shirt, look at the teeth hanging out. Yeah. That's why I now understand why, where's, can we get the, the horse's teeth? Come on. The horse's teeth. See the, <laughs> um, uh, did you see the horse blink? I did. Um, so it just, uh, everything just backfires I, I, whatever they were doing they, <laughs> they were scared as hell yeah they scared them away they scared them away okay they scared them away and this is interesting now we got the nine of swords up right now I'll tell you I think what that what this is I know what this is so in this oh, in before it used to be um, uh, the, the girl, you know, who was uh, who was uh, anxiety and uh, anxiety all day about the man, and now, now she's fine, you know, and um, and he has anxiety about her leaving. But I think that's why um, this happened. I think that she just wanted to. Um, get out of the, the abusive situation she was in. Yeah, here's what she wanted. 
stability and she just this person could have done that you know he could have done it there's there's the divine counterpart there it matches up with the scenario that i know about yeah the, the completion that was what was supposed to have happened now i believe i believe that this is your uh wow my god aquarius this is so beautiful this is the end of the story all right i'll just see if the spirit has anything else to say Any last words? Any last words? There was no... Wow. I'm getting it. Yeah, he just, the problem is, this person wouldn't listen to spirit. Just wouldn't listen. Um, and I think that many, many, many times, many times, um, you, you tried to, you know, sort of get this person, you know, you tried to ask them, don't be so mean. That's, you know, don't, don't you, do, how, do you really care about me? If you do, stop calling me those names, please. There was just nothing that could be done. I feel like what Spirit is saying to you here is, so this would be ascending, right? This is somebody who is ascending. All right? So and what are they doing? They're working on, the, on their spirituality. How do they work on that? Well, something as simple as sitting down and making a list of all the things that they fear the most. Okay? Make a list of it, and then you go through each and every one, uh, one by as long as it takes. And you find a way in your mind of you being okay without having that thing. How can I look at this and see that it's okay? What are the advantages of not having that? For example, the advantages of not having a car. If you've been gang stalked and you can't own a car, you'll never get charged with impaired driving. You don't have a car payment, no car insurance. You will never get in charge with impaired driving. Uh, if you don't have, well, you're assuming you're not going to drive anyone else's car. But you get the idea. Um, no more parking stress. Um, how about loss of reputation? Well, think about all the people that that, that uh, the people that you thought were important. Do they really? How how are they important to you? You know, um, uh, the, how does their uh, good opinion of you assist you in life? You might say, "Oh, I'll get a better position." Well, that well, if then that means that you're putting all your, you know, your your faith or all all your happiness is dependent on money, you know. It's it's I guarantee you it's not. But you 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 know people sometimes have to learn that the hard way. Spirit is saying that you did the best you could. All right. You communicated in a straightforward manner to this person. Um, they did not. They hit a lot of things. You may have gotten to the point where you realized this person, not only are they not ascending, but they're getting worse, <laughs> you know? So um, I think Spirit wants you to know that you did everything you could, all right? Um, and it, this person failed to disclose. This is an expert looking at things, looking at this, is it, this person finds the truth. It's often an investigator, often an investigator. Um, so... That was an incredibly amazing reading. Uh, I interesting. All right, Aquarius, I love you so much. And uh, sorry, it was so long. Let me know if it resonated. I hope it didn't, but it may. Okay.